Well, welcome back, folks. Um, the last time we left off, I had uh, was kind of worried about whether or not I was going to be able to record this, and the last video, at least, uh, came out pretty much perfectly. So I guess my uh, my last change was enough to basically resolve the issue. Maybe <laughs> you never really know with things like this. Um, so what I'm going to do this time is just keep going. If we keep having trouble with it... Oh wow, it's actually going a lot faster now. Um, we'll keep, I'll keep recording videos and uh, if it if it does seem solved, that's great. If not, then uh, well, I'll let you know. But for now, I guess that seems to solve the problem. I had my, I guess, uh, my bit rate of my audio too high, so maybe my voice is not going to sound as good now, but uh, I think the video quality is more important than the audio quality, at least of my voice. So we're going into here. Ooh. It's definitely uh, turns really, turns on a dime. It's a great improvement over what it was before. Here. Well, I think it's got a, both a moon and a planet that we can that we can uh, mess with. Ooh, it's kind of dangerous though. Yeah, but it doesn't have anything on it anyway. Okay. Check out its moon. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of uh, just gathering resources in this game. Ooh, nothing there for that. And there's a whole lot of nothing there too. A lot of nothing. Okay, those improvements that we got with the turning radius and stuff is actually quite helpful. Going a lot faster now too, it seems like. We're gonna make our way in slowly to make sure we hit it. Alright, got it that time. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow, there's absolutely nothing here. And I wouldn't have gone on this one because it's class 6. So there's just nothing in the solar system at all. At all. Alright, well, we'll make our uh, retreat. No reason to be here. Alright, the last time we left off, we were at this, uh... We hadn't quite got everything from this planet here. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out and try to figure out what's over here. Now we got the two on the left. I don't think we got this one. Kind of at that purple one exploring its moons before. The purple gas giant. So I don't think we've looked here. Maybe we've looked here. I don't know. Ooh, another class six. It's got crap on it. You can always tell. See if it has any bio. It has biologicals on it. Like a lot. But class six, we can't do that. There's no way. There's no way we can do that. I don't think we've looked at this world yet. We may have. I don't know. We'll go ahead and check it out. I 
think maybe, okay, maybe we did check this one out. I'm not sure. I'm guessing we did. I just didn't remember it. Alright, we'll leave. Back up this way. Go back to our purple gas giant we were looking at. I could find a planet with biologicals that I could uh, more reasonably deal with. I don't quite remember which ones we've looked at here. Yeah, this is the one we we're just at. Uh, yeah, that's fine. There's nothing there. If I remember, well, you know, even though these ones suck, it's better to get them. Because you need to make sure you have enough to redo your fuel, and at the very least, they can do that. Um, if you needed to, you could, you know, you can always dump them afterward, but if you're, you know, I guess you don't really know what you're going to find, especially if it's later in the game, it might end up being that you clear out an area and you forgot, and you go back to it, and you kind of waste your resources, so it's better just to have it, maybe. Maybe. That's my uh, that's my thought at the moment. I could be wrong on that. But I'd rather get it. I'd rather get it and not want it, and, or than not get it and need it. clean this whole world out. But, you know, we got a lot more cargo containers this time, so we got we got an extra cargo container, maybe extra two cargo containers, I forget. I think we got yeah, we got two extra cargo containers, so our uh we should be able to hold three thousand minerals now. As opposed to uh as opposed to the 1,000 we were doing before, so it's going to be a lot harder to overfill our cargo space. So that should make getting these things not as bad a, bad a thing. We can check. And then we, get, we got enough for 2,000 uh, 2, cargo, I guess. Which is fine. Remember, I think I think we've looked at both the other worlds, but we'll check while we're here. No reason not to. Well, I guess we didn't. We'll go ahead. Uh oh, I didn't check to see how dangerous it was. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad, actually. Class 3 on the tectonics isn't terrible. T class 3 on the weather is nearly impossible. I don't know, the class 3 weather and tectonics is like a big, big difference there. And then the temperature, I think the temperature, if it's in the red, that means there's fire. If the weather is whatever, then that's going to be like that lightning storm. And the tectonics is those earthquakes. I'm not sure if there's any other effects you have to worry about. I do, I did read that the, uh, the animals can sometimes attack your ship. Um, so that is a thing. Now we already looked at one of them, so I already know that we got some of the things off of this one, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, leave. And I think there's another one over here. Oh, there's lots of stuff here, but we're we actually going to be able to mine from it. Or even better, would be able to get some biologicals we can go trade in. Well, this isn't going to be done. 
and there's crap anyway. The Uriah world sometimes have animals, yep. I don't know why they don't ever have a, a, a biological world that isn't like completely destructive. And even if it is destructive, it makes you, oops. It makes you wonder how they're surviving on it when your own like mechanical lander can't do it. I don't know. I am not certain. Well, we got another one of these. Nothing useful there. No animals though. I'm not gonna bother with that. What do we have here? It's a lot of useful stuff. Class 3 is just barely good. The orange ones are worth it. The orange ones are worth it for sure. And. Let's see. Yeah, well, yellow and orange are both worth it. The other ones, not so much, but yellow and orange I should go after. It's going to be difficult, though. It's definitely going to not be easy. Alright. Lost the crew. Oh, <laughs> just barely made it away from that one. We did lose a few crew, but since we have so many... Now, it's kind of like... Not even, uh, not even, you don't need to worry. As, I'm not going to worry as much about it. Jump up off of this one. Go here. Too bad, actually. I might, I might actually get all of it. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it's not so bad that it's worth getting all of it. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna lose some crew members, but it's not as dire straits. It's like, well, you know, that's the sacrifice you make if you want to save the Earth. Lose a few crew members. drive around. I think I'm getting a little bit better at navigating. A little bit better at navigating this stuff. Okay, so the Class 3 storms aren't that bad either. I guess I'm just... I thought the storms had something to do with that fire. So that's why I was getting a little bit confused. So class 3 is definitely tolerable. Definitely tolerable. I'll go ahead and save that. Alright, I think we need to go here, and that's the last one for this star system. Well, we got that. Yeah, that's not even worth the fuel, to be honest. Alright, we got all of that. I do believe we've fully discovered this uh, star system. So go ahead and leave. Big one here we haven't done it yet.
Looks like we might be able to get some good stuff here. Maybe. This is a moon, it looks like. So we're going to go to the planet first. Class 4 tectonics. To be honest, I don't want to bother with class 4 tectonics. It's doable, and I would for uh, better stuff, but it's not good enough to warn it at this time. Oops. It's just not good enough. What I want is a biological world that isn't super dangerous. It's got a fair amount of stuff. But I guess we're just gonna have to wait. I don't know why they don't have any of that. Maybe it's just it's meant to be rare. But it was just too dangerous to get a lot of them from the worlds that I've seen that have them. Those Urea worlds have like horrible tectonic stuff. So it's just like it's just like, oh, how are we gonna get it? I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they made it so that you have to get your lander upgraded or something before you can start doing the biological stuff. I'm not sure. It'd be nice to get a lander that has bigger cargo too in and of itself. That's okay. Very good. Get out of this system. Over here, it looks like it could almost be a UV world. Those ruby worlds are nice. Oh, it's a magma world. Class 8 tectonics. We'll see what's here. Nothing I'm going to risk my crew members for. Can't do anything with class 8 tectonics. Up here. driving these things. Your scan, class 3 tectonics is tolerable. So I wonder how much that uh, merchant trades for the knowledge of those uh, rainbow worlds, as he says, as he called them. Hopefully it gives you a lot of credits. I'm assuming they're hard to find. I don't know where they are. That was worth it. I don't need to dispatch again. Well, get in here. Class 5 tectonics. That's kind of a pain. And there's going to be firestorms too. Oh, there's biologicals though. I'm honestly tempted to try that because I want to. Honestly tempted to try. I don't think this is going to work very well though. I don't think this is going to work very well though. Oh. Yikes. Uh, so that guy attacks you. Oh. We'll try again. We'll 
go ahead and try again. The tectonics didn't seem that hard to deal with. We'll just go here and do our best to shoot him. It Got one there. Oop. Hmm, I wonder how, uh... That obviously didn't work very well. Oh, wrong button. That did not work very well. Those things are strong. They can take a lot of hits. I wonder how many hits it takes to get one. And they will attack you. They will attack you. Well, I should go somewhere that's only one of them. <laughs> that is not... <laughs> you can't back up. That's the problem. There's no backing up. But I really want to try and get one of those. I really want to try to get one of those and see how much you get. go down and we'll try this guy. Oops. Well. Wow, he takes a lot of hits. I'm not sure I can actually kill him at all. takes a lot of hits to kill that guy, but I think that's, you, you shoot him once, and then you run away, and then you shoot him again. If you're going to do it, that's how you're going to do it. Try to go somewhere where it's just one by themselves, because like two is going to make it more difficult. I'm wondering, uh... Alright, we'll try this one more time, and if... I, I'm getting a little bit better at, like, dodging them or whatever, but as soon as you attack one... As soon as you attack one, all the others come running at you. Well, I don't... Alright, here's my impression. We're not... We're not at the level where we're supposed to be able to get those guys yet. Uh, maybe it's possible if you're really, really persistent. But, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and say that basically no. There was that little flying beastie, though, that we can probably help. That only took, like, a couple hits. Jeez, they're coming right on me. Goodbye. <clears throat> we can probably get that one from Steve. <laughs> Might as well get the minerals here, no problem. They never get hurt by the uh, by anything. There was that one little bird guy that was easy to get. Oh, come on. Gotta run away from these guys. Run away. 
we did lose some crew here. I might as well get some of the biological material that's here. Maybe this is a different way. Oh, come on. tempted to like try to do this to them. I want to see if I can kill one. Get it? Ten biodata from that. Oh, good. That's a lot of biodata we just got. So it says biodata. Does that take up cargo space? I don't know. I think it's worth saving though. Yeah, I lost some crew, but whatever. Yeah, I don't think it does. So, is it devices? Actually, I want to keep you up because I think you're more useful than this one. We'll go ahead and replenish our uh, guys a little bit from this ship. I don't plan on using it anyway if we get into a fight. That's kind of interesting, actually. We got enough things, we might be able to get something from that data guy now. Like, I think I'm gonna go back to Alpha Centauri and try to do that. Class 3 weather. There's some valuable stuff here, actually. Class 3 weather should be, uh, doable, though. I'm not sure which one is the more valuable, the blue or the green, but I'm gonna get both of them anyway. The weather is definitely very hard to avoid. Just like that. The weather is the hardest one to avoid, I feel. Like the lightning comes right at you. Thanks. But fortunately. We'll start from here. Fortunately, I have plenty of crew members to lose this time, so I'm not going to worry too hard about it. Don't honestly think that one is worth... Well, I can go. Might as well. I'm here. Might as well grab it. Not sure it's worth the fuel, but... In fact, it it isn't worth the fuel, I should have about that, but that's okay. It wasn't worth the fuel at all. If you think it's going to be less than 20, then it's not even worth going down there. Because that's how much the fuel costs you. Well, 6 times 3... It sort of was negated, I suppose. But I, I basically, from going and getting that white one, I basically lost uh, two, uh, a... <laughs> two credits, because that's how much, you know, I had to use a fuel for it. Well, this is a safe place. Alright, we'll go 
ahead and uh, dispatch this one. One thing I want to do is just look at my manifest. How much do I have left here? We have a lot of space. That's fine. We have a lot of space. I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab all this stuff. It's a nice, safe planet. Or moon, whatever it is. I forget. But we definitely want to fill up our cargo hold, unless we run out of start running out of fuel. Sixteen silicon, rhodium, silicon, let's see, nine times six, that's probably not right, I don't know, we're gonna grab it anyway, I'm not gonna worry too hard about that. Go ahead, I think this is it for the star system. Why don't we go ahead and uh, for each biological unit of data, that guy gives you two credits. So I think we have enough to get those better guns now. Or at least the plans for them. So let's... Well, on the way back. On the way back, let's because we still need to get, uh, we still want to fill up our cargo a little bit. So we might as well, because uh, we're going to have to come back that way. We might get even more biological units to uh, spend on stuff. Class 4 tectonics. Yeah, that's just crap. Who needs that? This is an organic world. It's an organic world and there's no, uh, there's no biology stuff. Okay. Oh, whatever then. Another urea world, crap minerals, no energy stuff, and dangerous as hell. Well, we're not going there. Let's go to this one. Mr. Green World. Ooh, these ones got valuable stuff on it. Quasi degenerate world, what does that mean? I don't even know what that means. These are those are very valuable, so even though it's a little bit dangerous. We're going to go ahead and try it. Fuel's 
worth it. They're kind of too far away. I guess I could try to go to this one and try it. Try this. Very good. Well, that was definitely worth it. Let's try this other one. What kind of thing is this? I don't even know what it means by quasi. Some of these names are funny. Quasi degenerate world. Oh boy. Class 8 weather? Nah, that ain't even possible, man. It's not even... Those orange ones look nice, but that's not even possible, Class 8. Not for my current behavior. Same one for this, although look at that. It's got some nice stuff on it. But it's gonna have fire, lightning, and earthquakes. And it's going to have a lot of lightning, which you can't really avoid, so... Class 8, that's a no-go, no matter how good the stuff is. Oh. I've been there already. Just kind of rocket it off there. I think we want to go down this way. Interesting looking one. What this is. A water world, huh? I guess no life forms. Oh no, lots of them. We, but it's got a lot of earthquakes and some weather. I don't know how these animals are going to go. I'm going to try it. Oh, crap. Oh. Um, hmm. Probably should have saved before I did that, but that's okay. Those are way too dangerous. I don't know what happens if I go over here. Onto the water. Can they follow onto the water? Go ahead and try it. I don't think they can. Oh, so the mouse can go on the water. That's great. Well, whatever. Too dangerous at this time to do that. It's interesting, though. And those those little mice are fast too. I think I might have been able to get those amoeba looking things, but the mice, you know, they are swimming like a champ. <laughs> it's a little bit dangerous, but I've navigated this before. Okay, we'll go ahead and save it real quick first. But I think we can do this. Green ones are quite valuable too. Green ones are quite valuable, so we definitely want those. That all filled up. I think it's worth getting more of these guys, honestly. Plenty of room here. Go down, get this 
platform. <clears throat> Oops. Lost some more crew members. Oh well. Right, let's go ahead and check how we're doing on our cargo here. Still have 600 cargo left. Okay. Alright, so this is what we're going to do now. Um, I think that's the last planet in this particular solar system that I have to explore. So let's leave real quick. Oh no, I don't think I've gotten that green one. No, oh, these two over here I don't think I've gotten actually. Let's so I'm going to finish uh, exploring this solar system and then we're going to call it quits on this video. And I'm going to go ahead and take a look and see... Uh, this one's pretty safe. Wow, it's got a lot of good stuff on it too. And it's safe. A Yitrick world. Look at those animals. Uh, maybe they're easy to get animals. We'll focus on this first and see what we can get with the bio data. I think we've seen those before. They're easy to get. ones are easy to get. That's good. Yeah, that's great. Easy to get ones. That's really nice. Actually. Let's go fill up our bio data while we're here. good because we'll be able to buy uh, more stuff from that guy. It's the first time I've seen a uh, bio data somewhere that was easy to. I don't want him to be off screen. I might get him. This is the first place we've seen that had an easy to access bio data stuff. Animals that weren't too difficult and also that weren't getting overrun with. Uh, we can get the rest on that next trip. Minerals first. Yeah, this is a great world. This has got tons of stuff for us. They don't even really attack you. Well, I was kind of nervous to attack him because, I mean, you know, when I blew up those robots, it blew up minerals, so. Just sacrifice some crew members for that one. Oops. Probably shouldn't have done that, but in the long, in the scheme of things, it doesn't matter that much. Okay, we're good. definitely going to be worth getting more, so... Alright, how many 135? Ah, we're not doing too bad. That's definitely acceptable. Acceptable losses, for sure. One more planet in here that I have on this board yet. Good. It's got some tectonics. Not really too much for the minerals. Mm -hmm. How much do I have in my cargo? 440? I don't know, there's not that much there. There are going to be some earthquakes to navigate around. I think I'm just going to... Well, 
Well, I don't know. Actually, I'm getting, you know, my fuel is getting lower than I'd like, so why don't I go ahead and grab it? Go ahead and get, uh... At least one full, we'll see how much it does. Shouldn't be too dangerous. Oops. Might as well fill it up. It's not worth going back down for, but uh, it was worth doing that much at least. All right, we're going to go ahead and call this video quits here. Um, let's see, this is kind of a long video. So we're going to see uh, how well it recorded. And uh, I'll see you next time, folks. Later.